It's a place many people go to to catch up on their reading, their internet work, or just to find a peaceful oasis. But in tonight's school patrol, a group of teens are going back to their childhood, in a manner of speaking, and having a fun and messy time. <laughs> I'll go ahead and open it up. Metro Nashville's main library. It's much more fun that way. You get the whole full effect. Is normally a quiet place. It feels kind of like, almost like Play-Doh. It looks like it's a drop on the table, but you can scrape it up. But for these teens. All the librarians are much cooler than normal. <laughs> it's really easy cleanup, so we make sure they don't know that it got everywhere because we can just swipe it up. What they're working with is. A quarter cup of cornstarch in here to start off in your cup. And then we're going to take your food coloring. We're going to do blue. Kayla Mayberry. We're making ooze. Is one of those students in charge <laughs> of today's project. That's, that's exactly today's plan. We're going to make ooze and tell them how to make it. And then actually why it's ooze. Because it's a non-Newtonian liquid, which means it doesn't follow Newton's laws. Ooze doesn't really follow any laws. It's like it's sticky, but then it just kind of like melts into like the back into the cup. Like, you... Mine's pink. That's perfect, actually. When you're a teen, the snack of the day today is goldfish. Is pretty important. Normally we do chips and stuff, but sometimes we'll mix it up with veggie straws, which are like chips, but only better for you. Certainly better for you than ooze. I mean, you can eat it. People put cornstarch in food, but I mean, you don't want to. It's not going to taste good. No. I don't recommend it, though. <laughs> Nashville's public libraries. It's not like all quiet. You can't talk. There's there's no talking in the library. You know, library have always had a focus on kids and teens. But no, in here it's like there's all kinds of things. You don't have to be quiet. It's always louder. You have your friends. There's a lot of stuff to do. You have the Xbox. You can play video games. There's movies. Like even we do movies sometimes too. So like there's all different kinds of stuff. The library is even lenient. More H2O in your cup. When it comes to the messy stuff. We try to stay in our area and stay away from uh, things that could be damaged. So it is a little surprise though that you know. With all the valuable stuff they have in the room, they let us do something so messy. And lucky for them, cleanup is a breeze. In a few spots, you got to put a little pressure to get it up, but for the most part, it just slides right off. Overall, ooze is a big hit. It brings me back to my childhood. It feels weird. It feels gooey. Like when you touch it, it does feel hard, but then like it feels liquidy. As you can see, hers is on a napkin and mine's on the table. It's relatively the same amount of mess. People think of the library as a place to read and study, but... You can actually do really fun things here. The best part about all this? The wipes, it's a little bit different. It's easier with water. We're not in charge of cleanup. <laughs> well, if you'd like more information on the programs available to teens, contact your local Metro library.